Hey everyone, and welcome back. And today we are finally looking at Monster High G3 Spectre Vondergeist. Tony's here, obviously. Um, I feel like we saw her last year. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like we've seen images. This is an adult collector video, not for adult collectors. Uh, I saw, I feel like we saw leaks of her last damn year. And I think some European countries, maybe Australia, got her like a month ago. Like, she's just a weirdo, but I just found her at Target, and I'm just now seeing she's a little bit wonky, but she's got glasses, so who cares? Yeah. <laughs> who cares? So who cares? Um, but I'm just so glad to have her, and I think she might be a little low on her fucking, ooh, on her neck, because where is the neck? She looks like a My Froggy Stuff abomination, like, re, like, you. Yeah, Ooh. but here she is. There's the, the beautiful artwork. That she looks Dark so. Didn't do? I have no clue. Did Darko do this? Did Darko not do this? Did they hire an artist that was like working cheaper and could emulate his art style? Which I think, if that's the case, that's real shitty. But again, I don't know any of that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's emulating his work for sure. But she looks beautiful nonetheless. I'm just glad that we're... Every time we think about, like, the original artwork for G3, I'm like... Yeah. It's sweet! Mm -hmm. I hated it with all my... Like, every fiber of my body. Mm -hmm. Here is her barcode. I found her Target. She was $24.99. Uh, but they had, like, a 20% off store-wide thing, so she was $19.99. Here is the full body. So cute. They are really having a field day with, like, a romper-esque thing. Mm -hmm. Like, they, I feel like they n never did this in G1, so it's it's really cute to see. I mean, would I have preferred a dress and a skirt, or, like, a, a skirt or a dress? Yes. But it's still cool to see. And then there are the main ghouls. Is that for Cleo? They were like, F you, biatch. But they put her on the front, so. Uh, Spectra Vondergeist. Ooh, her text is super cute. Uh, monster type, Scaretastic Ghoul. Oh, Scaretastic Ghost. Monster must have her phantom nuggets and ghost pepper sauce. Her monster pet is Ruin. Let's just get her out. I pre-cut all her things because we cannot be waiting for this. We've been waiting too long for this doll. Is this a must have for you, Tony? I can't tell yet. She looks so funny. Yeah. She looks like, literally like those... Uh, when Froggy puts, like, an Ever After high head on, like, a Kelly body, like. <laughs> <laughs> I did, like, the in-store pickup thing because, uh, the employees at Target were not being, I don't know. I went up to, um, exchanges and returns, and I had a really wonky, uh, Draculaura fear book doll that I was like, oh, I'll just exchanger because I found a less wonky one because I did an in-store pickup because I was scared of her selling out before I could get there and like the the shelves were full of her so I found a really really good one and well like, I, like, a, like a good one and we went to go to the front and I got my online order and the one they had picked of course was a nightmarish disaster and <laughs> like truly the devil's work Oh, and how oh, that hurt my nail. Um, and I was just like, "Hey, can I exchange these?" And the Target worker looks me in the eye. And she's like, "We don't do exchanges here." And I look at her and I point to the giant sign behind her that says "Exchanges and Returns." <laughs> and she's just like, "Well, you're just gonna have to rebuy it and then return it." And I was like, "Ex." exchanges and i showed her i was like this is the same product mm -hmm. you don't even have to put anything into your computer you could just take this one and let me take this one yeah and she was like no and i was like okay okay, okay girl <laughs> i mean i don't like making like workers feel bad or any like that stuff but like girl be so serious Everybody. we don't do exchanges as you're as you have the word exchanges over your head. I was like, are you dumb? <laughs> like, are, has it been a long day? Because this is actually crazy that you are looking at me and saying we don't do exchanges. 
underneath the exchanges line. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Everyone's allowed to get frustrated. <gasps> oh, she is on her, okay there. Oh, look, normal. So much better. Okay, let's get her on a stand. G3, please, please, please do some stands. <laughs> and please, please, please. <laughs> Give us stands so we don't look so stupid with MJ lives that get stands. <laughs> um, off topic, but like the new Rainbow High dolls, do you know if they have stands, guys? Because, okay. no, thank you. I'm also like on the fence with them. I don't know, losing the wrist really, really like ached me out. Oh, she doesn't look that bad out of the box, actually. Yeah. She looks really pretty. Okay, let's look at her accessories for oh my god. Yeah, you're a top shelf girly. So she comes with a pair of glasses like all the dolls do. This is very reminiscent of her G1 picture day ones. Yeah. Um just my picture day doll is constantly wearing them because she is a super ugly doll in the face. She looks like a dog. <laughs> like <laughs> I, you do though. Yeah. I peeked under those before. This mason jar cup, love. It's probably it's my favorite cup. Too. Yeah. It's super adorable. Those are the cups we have in this house. Yeah. I love it. Especially with the skillet there. Mattel, make this. Make I will buy it. <laughs> she comes with a iPad. A iPad. An iPad. <laughs> She's got hella apps. She's gossiping. Oh, I want them to bring back the Gore Gazette, please. Or just call it Gossip Ghoul. I don't know. Gossip Ghoul. So cute. I love this. Make this. Make this. <laughs> um, Mattel, partner up with Verizon and make a <laughs> make an eye coffin. <laughs> yeah. Please. Please. She's on like, I feel like that's like, oh, that's their Snapchat. <laughs> and I feel like that's their Twitter. Mm. Don't know what that is. Clipboard? I don't know. <laughs> It's so cute. Look at she that. Wasn't that color? It's like teal. Yeah. She doesn't have teal. At all. It's it. It was a choice. Definitely. And not a choice that I appreciate. appreciate. Uh, and then this obnoxious pop of red. I mean, I get it. It's like ghost pepper, mm -hmm. which is hilarious and sweet and cute, but red, just like this obnoxious shade of red. They should have made it like. A purple sauce that had a gradient. Yeah. Her ghost nuggets. They're pretty cute. Uh, I need some company to make these. Yeah. I would order the hell out of these. They're so cute. And then here's like their cute little basket. That they, they never really fit in the baskets they give us. I think it's also look at that. Weird. Yeah. And then her backpack. Um, I think we didn't need the boo no. or the writing. I think just the ghost shape would have been enough. Yeah. But I'm scared to take acetone to this because I don't know if it'll melt. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I might try it, but um, the shape is super adorable. I just think that cheapens it. It just looks kind of ugly. Mm -hmm. And then Rune or Ruin. Very cute. Super cute. Again, you guys know that I'm a G3 pet person and I think all G1 pets are super ugly. Uh, except for Count Fab. I mean, Count Fab's ugly, but like Rune aesthetic. Cute in G1. Not as cute as this, though. This tail is amazing. It's everything. I love them. I can't wait to buy more and turn them into earrings. <laughs> oh, those would be cute earrings. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like dangly as hell. Like way on your ears. <laughs> yeah, they're pulling on my earlobes. <laughs> yeah. And then here is Spectra, the darling ghost girl. Ghost girl in the now. Um, What can I say? She... <laughs> need these Monster High stands to actually click when I need them to. So her is Saran. It's not Polly like we were fearing. It's just very ugly out of the box. Yeah. Like this is super th like a clump. Th like yeah. So you're going to have to do some work there, which makes me mad cuz we're going to have to take off this and redo these twists. I might redo them into braids because they're like braids better and they fall like they 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 lay flatter on the head than a twist. So or I just might give her banks. <laughs> she looks really good on camera. Oh, incredibly well. Oh, so good. There's just like a few colors in her hair. It's mostly that saturated purple color. She's got a lock. Like indigo, I guess. Yeah. There's a little bit of blue, I would say. Mm -hmm. 
She's got a lock and key earring set. But we all care about that damn face. Yeah. They really, really put in the work here. Uh, a lot of criticism towards Spectra from parents, from what I remember uh, for G1, was that she looked super mature. They're going to be pissed right now <laughs> because she has this super angular, mature sculpt. It's so beautiful. Like, I cannot wait. Look at that nose. <gasps> she... She's giving Emily from Corpse Bride, like, mm -hmm. down. I can't wait to see people's repaints of her because she's going to be exquisite. Yeah, she's going to be a really good base. And then... Delightful. Delightful. Let's do this. <laughs> this is a one... This is, like, a piece right here that's separate. I can't tell what this is. If it's just, like, around... Oh, yeah, okay. So it's, like, around her shoulders. But it's so cute. It's chains. It kind of looks like a bow, so it gives, like, a little girly detail. And it is attached to this super long cape. This is a one-piece romper. The fabric's pretty good. I do think that the new characters are kind of eating up our signature girls that came out <laughs> yeah. in 2022. Mm -hmm. Like Venus, Caddy, Abby, Spectra. We're eating up the whole gang. Yeah. Uh, she like a complete yeah. violation. So, like, that has a lot of, like, really good give. And you can see the clear plastic right here. Ugh. I'm like, can we not make that clear plastic, too? Why does it have to be white? And then the gradient looks super nice. This is always, like, my favorite thing about Spectra. It looks so cool. Yeah. The ball and chain uh, heels. So cute. These are kind of reminiscent to her original heels mm. from her... Her signature at all. Quite. These are just like open toed. She's cute. yeah. She's oh. I, I wish the that belt. all of her other silver details were painted the same as her shoes. Ah uh, yeah. I keep saying that I'm gonna get like one of those like markers. <laughs> and then I'm like oh then I'm about to do it. <laughs> and then I'm like oh Chris will do it. Oh Chris will do it. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I will get one of those markers. <laughs> you never know. But yeah, she's super beautiful. She's kind of messy out of the box, I'm not going to lie. Her hair's a little haggard. She looks like she's been living alone for a bit. I mean, she's been sun in a bit. yeah, she's been haunting somewhere alone mm -hmm. for a while. But all in all, I think she's a solid 9 out of 10 to me. Yeah. Her face is so, so gorgeous. Those eyes. I think it's supposed to be like... A ghost face, like two eyes and a mouth. <laughs> like, oh! <laughs> She's so G1 coded. Yeah. Like, there's something so mature about her face that she really, really, like, emulates her G1 doll to me. Mm -hmm. I really love this doll. They gave her an angular face again. Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, we can't lose that. That's not changing. No matter how baby face we give some of these other girls, other ghouls. They're like, no, Spectre. Oh, let's see her ears. Spectre needs her angles. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. How does she fit in your world? Again, I'm in Southern California, and every Target that I went to had her. So... I want to dress her in Y2K. You want to dress every doll in Y2K? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, think, I think that every doll would look good in Y2K. <laughs> Tony's like, I want her to be wearing a mini skirt. A mini skirt, a crop, crop, crop top. Um, a mini skirt that looks like a belt. Shoes that won't stay on her feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's calling you guys out on, on Twitter. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Is she a must have? Obviously, she is. Mm. Uh, I can't believe that I have her before the twins. Yeah. But. It's fine. It's fine. I'm totally fine. It's okay. Uh, not giving the twins to Amazon was definitely the correct decision, Mattel. So everyone could get them, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!